In this little screencast, we're going to learn how we can take um, this visitor device class module tag, nest it inside of a web app um, module tag, and offer up unique list views in doing so from a web app. And why would I want to do this? I think it, you got to kind of think of this differently from responsive web design in that with media queries in CSS, we can show or hide content depending on the screen size. In this case, we're actually going to be leveraging the tag that's detecting the device being used. And we can get really creative with this and we can actually offer up um, unique um, experiences for those. And for instance, it's pretty hard currently um, to manage the order of markup. And so let's say on the tablet, I wanted to have this this, this uh, chunk of content, B, uh, show up here before A. Um, and with CSS, we can't really do that yet. And with JavaScript, it might get kind of messy. Um, and let's say we didn't want to have this chunk down here show up on tablet. Um, so I can do that. And then let's say on mobile, we only want this chunk to show up. We don't want A or B to show up uh, here. And so, yeah, we, again, we could do that with media queries and CSS, but here I'm going to actually only offer up this content in the DOM. Um, and let's, let's, let me show you how I can do that here. In the back end, I've created this web app. Let's go review it real quick. Web apps and unique content. Let's look at the one item that I'm outputting here, and you'll see those three content chunks. So that's what we have here. And this is just a static heading here. And then um, the rest, pretty much the rest of this uh, tutorial, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean on the develop tab up here, which is pretty pretty fun to use. I don't need to use an editor or anything here for this really simple stuff. Um, let's go take a look at the um, develop tab now and the actual list view templates uh, setup. What I want to do is create three different templates: one for desktop, tablet, and mobile. So I'm gonna do that now. In a business catalyst, we can we can call custom templates now for web app item list view. So I've traveled to the web apps folder inside of layouts, and then I've headed to the unique content folder, which is that particular web app. And now I'm going to click on list view. So this is what we see out here currently. Now I'm going to take this markup and I'm going to copy it. And so here, if I look at the, they actually have this off to the side here where you can see this. This is the HTML that we have basically set up right here for this. And so um, this is the list view. I've got it wrapped inside this div with the class of wrap. So there's the HTML class of wrap there. Um, so this is really all I'm going to be targeting here. And so I've got that here in this list view layout. I'm going to create one, a, a new one for desktop. So I'll go to this little guy here, create a new file. I'll clear out the HTML because I want this to be called .tpl. So I'm going to call this list-desktop.tpl. And so you could really call this anything you want. Just, you just want to make sure that you're consistent in your naming across all these. OK? So hit Enter. So I made an empty file there. I'm going to paste that markup in that I have from the original list view into here. And let's remember on desktop, we want everything there. So I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to call it list-tablet.tpl. On tablet, remember, we want B to show up. This guy here, we want B to show up before A. And we don't want C at all. So here I've completely tweaked the markup order and I've removed section of it as well. So then the next one I want is list phone.tpl. So now I'm going to paste that markup. Yeah, let's go back to the first one here. I'm going to grab that and paste that into this template. Okay, here we only want C to show up for some reason. So I hit save. Okay, so I'll come out and refresh. Then Nothing's going to change here because I'm on desktop. And I've got a handy dandy little iPhone emulator off to the side here that we're actually going to use for the iPad or tablet, I should say, and mobile experience. 
So what I need to do is I need to tell this um, page here, unique dash items to output web app items and have, have the template be dynamic to the device being used, desktop, tablet, or mobile. So I'll find that page here. It's a unique dash items.html. You see here that I've already got this set up here to save a little bit of time, but I'll, I'll review it here. Here's a module tag that we're outputting web app, web app items from this particular web app, which is the one I created, unique items. And then an individual item, just to, just to show here, it could be all items or items by classification, but in this case, I'm only outputting one item to keep it simple. And then we have a space, and then here's where we call our template. So it says template equals quotation marks, and then it's a direct path to the actual um, template itself. So you just follow the, the yellow brick road here to layouts, web apps, and that's camel humped here. And then we're going to the web app itself, unique-content. And then here's our list-naming scheme. And here's where we get dynamic right here dot tpl and then we close the brackets okay so that is it in a nutshell so what i can do is i hit publish or this has already been saved like this so um, should be working here if i inspect this here what's there's really nothing telling us that the desktop is in action here the desktop layout so let's go let's visit it list dash desktop let's add a little class here it says desktop to the first item. And if that shows up, we know that it, that it is working and it's detecting the device. And it is. There it is. There's the class. So if I pull this off to the side here and I pull up this handy dandy iPhone emulator, which I have another screencast. If you need to, you can reference. Um, respond, it's about responsive uh, web design tools and workflow and I cover how to how to use this particular uh, emulator. So here I'm going to visit that uh, that exact URL in this device here and check it on the mobile device. Now remember mobile we only wanted C to show up and in that case it really is and I'm not it's not hidden either it's actually um, the case. If I use this little plugin called it, I have Snoopy, this little bookmark thing. Um, I can see, I don't know if we're going to be able to see there, but we see here, I can't really zoom into that, but we see here we're only calling one item. It's hard to see, but that's really the case. So there's no hocus pocus there, it really is happening. And so I'm going to change the device here to an iPad. So we'll go to the same address and hit refresh. Now I've changed the uh, markup order and I've, we're not seeing the C content show up as well. So again, um, if I use that same little tool, Snoopy, which is a great little plugin, um, we'll see down here in the markup, we've changed the markup order uh, literally in the, in the markup. So that is pretty cool, kind of fun. You can you could actually use this in responsive web design as well, um, get real specific with what content you're serving up. Uh, thought this would be kind of fun to check out.